Nearly 40 years later, a man is suing the Boy Scouts of America, claiming his troop leader sexually abused him for years, at least six times. Now, this former scout claims the organization knew his leader was a pedophile. And because the scout leader was never charged, we are not releasing his name. THV 11's Erica Ferrando sat down with the victim this morning as he was coming forward publicly for the first time. This is pretty much when it began. Um, this was me. Nearly 40 years later. It took years for me to even be able to tell my family and my parents. Um, but now is the time I'm not afraid anymore. William Stevens is sharing his experience of sexual abuse, claiming his Boy Scouts troop leader began abusing him in 1979 at 10 years old. As I look back on everything and I see it, I realize how it's affected my entire life. He says the abuse happened just months after joining the Scouts during meetings, outings, and overnight excursions in the Hot Springs area. Shame and embarrassment that I had done something wrong, which was what, the way it was made for us to believe. Alleging negligence and fraud against the Boy Scouts of America, he filed a civil lawsuit in the Pulaski County Circuit Court against the organization and its local governing body, the Quapaw Area Council. I have a very strong feeling and I know that I wasn't the only one. More than a year ago, Stevens found a file online on his alleged abuser. I was an 11 year old boy all over again. It was one of thousands kept secret until it was ordered to be revealed by a court in Oregon in 2012. And I realized that I wasn't the only one. Titled the Perver Version files. The Boy Scouts of America's files are on volunteers expelled from 1965 to 1985 for abusing children. Peter Jancy represented the plaintiff in that Oregon case. What happened to William was tragic, but it was preventable. Documents show his abuser was removed from a troop in Georgia for abusing boys two years before joining the troops in Arkansas. And that was known to the Boy Scouts? The Boy Scouts had received thousands and thousands of reports about pedophiles using the scouting program to get close to boys, to isolate boys. The lawsuit adds there's no indication the Boy Scouts ever reported the abuse to police. The Boy Scouts of America sent us a response saying the organization is outraged. There have been times when scouts were abused and we sincerely apologize to victims and their families. They go on to say we have continued to evaluate and strengthen our efforts to protect youth, adding they have a thorough screening process for adult leaders, criminal background checks, and require two or more adults be present with youth. It's okay to say something. That's what I want out of this. William Stevens now hoping for a trial by jury. Erica Ferrando, THV 11 News. As for the accused troop leader, it's believed he has since passed.